Hello friends, this is Scott, and with my last video I showed you how much snow we had and all the shoveling, but I was able to stay on for three days because I got a, got a little bit snowed in, so I got a lot of painting done, but fortunately the chalk paint that we ordered uh, did come in and I was able to bring it down. So I wasn't sure exactly how long I was going to be down on uh, this trip, but uh, being an extended trip, I was able to get a lot of painting done. Now I did tackle some of the kitchen too and didn't quite finish, so that's going to put me on a separate video, but... You know, as I always do, I always bounce around between projects. And since I had four quarts, I figured I have enough to, to do another project, which is the, the master bathroom's uh, cabinets. I might as well stay in theme with the same color uh, just to keep some continuity. So here's the master bath cabinetry. Uh, you'll see in this video that I took out the medicine cabinet that was in here that was the same wood color. Uh, so we'll just do a black mirror probably in there. But here's the cabinets all taped up. And uh, I'm going to use the same color paint as I'm doing in the kitchen, just so that we uh, everything kind of looks similar. And chalk paint, again, one coat is not going to do it. And again, I don't paint real thick because it tends to drip. And, you know, anytime you're doing cabinets, you've got a lot of crevices. And, and it's just uh, the paint just runs and you end up finding drip. So I didn't go very thick in each coat. But first coat looks pretty good, but it's still not there. I think it took three coats. Now, the lighting in this house is terrible, as I've mentioned before, so I started working late into the night, and uh, I was painting the front, so I took the fronts off the cabinets and the drawers, and then I painted the frames, and then I painted the, the fronts, and then re, re put them on, so re reattached them. So so here's a look at kind of the drawer systems and what, they, and what I painted, and I hadn't got to the right side yet, but after I got that painted up and got the cabinets in, Everything looks pretty good. Now it needed to dry to get its true full color because you can still see some, you know, some of the wet streaking in there. But uh, I think it turned out pretty sharp. Obviously, the countertop is not what I would <laughs> you know, want for this color of cabinet, but you know, the budget is the budget, and we'll get this changed out once we, uh, we have some uh, priority bud money for this kind of a project. But got to do a lot of other things. But as you see, the mirror or the medicine cabinet's gone. And I put the outlet covers up. They're freshly painted. And there'll be a mirror there. Again, probably black. Because that's kind of the theme we're going with. And uh, as you'll see on the toilet roll holder, it was black also. And I've got to obviously put in the trim, you know, around the door frames and all that kind of good stuff. And I definitely have to clean the floor. I haven't done that yet. But it's looking pretty good. I've got a little more on the ceiling to do, but I'll, I'll hit that the next time I'm down. So, so it goes from a very... Uh, Boring, kind of a just a plain color to a to a more vibrant color, and I like it. Uh, there's a lot of white in this room, and there's not that much blue, and it is a slateish blue, and so I think it's uh, it's not over overwhelming at all. Now the kitchen again is the same color, and uh, the next video I'm going to show you. You know, well, I've done most of the cabinetry. I just got some insides to do, and that's I've done them on the top and the bottom. So I've got like six more top uh, cabinet doors to do is all so and put install some hardware. So that video will be coming next and I'll probably, uh, I may make another trip down and before I post that, or I may just post, you know, not quite finished and we'll see how that goes, but things are looking good. And I want to give you a close up of the third kitty coquette. Uh, so this is proof that I'm actually getting to pet this cat now. And, uh, this cat gets along well with the other two. So, uh, it's a pretty cat long hair needs a little bit of brushing, but, uh, so it's, it likes to purr, and it's a it's a nice cat. They're all three nice cats, so I'm 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 happy with them. They're uh, they get along pretty well. I think Thing is more of the troublemaker. Uh, she's down there on the end. There's all three of them sitting up there where I have the food, the water, and the heat lamp. So they're all nice and warm. So, well, thanks for watching this video, and if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you.